Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 13th of 2024 is titled Bard Galaxy NGC 1365 from Webb. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image of the spiral galaxy known as NGC 1365. Now, this is an example of what we call a barred spiral galaxy. So an ordinary spiral galaxy has spiral arms that swirl right down into the core. And a barred spiral galaxy seems to have a bar of stars going through the middle of it. And then the spiral arms come off the ends of the bar. Now, why some galaxies have bars and some don't is a great question and something we really don't completely understand. And it also is interesting that more galaxies are barred than are normal. So while we call them normal spiral galaxies and barred spirals, really the barred spirals are more common. Now here we see it as imaged by the James Webb Space Telescope looking at in the at it in the infrared. Now that's why it looks a little different than the typical galaxies that you look at. When we're looking at the infrared, in this case the mid-infrared, we are looking at the dust there and the young star formation that is going on. So we're not seeing the light of all of the bright hot stars because they emit their light primarily in the ultraviolet and would not be easily seen here. So we're highlighting the dust and seeing the regions of dust and star formation in a different way. Now this is a very large spiral galaxy nearly twice the size of our own Milky Way about 200,000 light years across. Now we're only seeing a portion of that from the center here stretching up towards one end but most of the rest of it is off the image to the right hand side here. Now as we look along the spiral arms we can see a lot of filaments of dust and a lot of clumps of material which are stars that are in the process of formation or very young stars that have formed. So the dusty areas are heated up by this and then radiate out infrared light which makes them very prominent in the web images. Now the web telescope is designed specifically to look at longer wavelengths from the longer wavelength visible which is the reds and the orange out into the infrared portion of the spectrum. And that helps give it a different view of the universe than we get with an ordinary optical telescope. We can see cooler objects much better because that dust does not give off a lot of visible light. It just shows up as a dark patch against the backdrop of other stars. Here we can actually see it glowing in its own light that it gets from being heated up by these stars around it. So it gives us a way to really track the details and see how that dust is working and how that works in terms of star formation. Now as we look down to the center we can see it gets very bright there and at the very center would be a supermassive black hole and as material is fed into that even as slowly it incorporates that material increasing the size of the black hole slightly but also giving off a lot of energy. Now while a black hole cannot give off energy itself it can give off energy as the material spirals into it in an accretion disk. So until it crosses what we call the event horizon we can see it giving off a lot of energy here in various different wavelengths. So that was our picture of the day for November 13th of 2024. It was titled Bard Spiral Galaxy NGC 1365 from Webb. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be the light, the dark, and the dusty. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.